while lying in the supine position, have the patient flex their hips and knees and place their feet close to their bottom. This is called a hook lying position. Have the patient lift head, press their elbows and feet into the bed to elevate and support the hips to avoid skin tears while scooting. Have the patient straighten their legs to propel the body up the bed. Have the patient return to the hook lying position with their legs only slightly flexed and shoulders, head, lifted and supported by elbows and forearms. Have the patient press down with both heels and move the hips down the bed, causing both knees and hips to flex. Have the patient return to supine. Have the patient go from supine to hook lying position. Instruct the patient to push down with both feet and elbows to lift the hips up, over, and down. Have the patient lift the upper body and head and move in the same direction followed by the feet. Have the patient abduct the arm in the direction they are turning and bend the opposite leg. Have them turn their eyes and head towards the abducted arm, then reach across the body and use the foot of the bent leg to push the trunk into the side lying position. Have the patient roll from supine to side lying position. Once in the side lying position, have the patient move both legs off the edge of the bed. Have the patient then push down through the left hand and right elbow extending the elbow and shoulder while lifting the upper torso to a full sitting position. From a sitting position, have the patient place both hands on the side where the patient will be transitioning to. The patient will then progressively lower their torso while placing their legs onto the bed in the side lying position. Then have the patient carefully roll to the supine position.